Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about how to understand gel electrophoresis results and here is a problem. The child or children of individuals A and E is uh, represented on uh, the gel uh, which individuals are they. So first of all let's um, circle uh, genotype of the individual A which is here and individual E which is here so as you see uh, both individual A and E has uh, two alleles of the different size and here we do not mean uh, alleles that code for proteins because such alleles would be of the same size but when scientists uh, research uh, relationships uh, between people uh, they use uh, different systems uh, like uh, CODIS for example where they choose such uh, locations on the chromosomes which we call lo loci where we have a uh, variable number of tandem repeats. Tandem repeat is for example such a sequence like A C C and for example uh, in certain location one person may have uh, three such repeat and uh, different person may have uh, say four repeats or five repeats even the same person may have a different number of repeats on different chromosomes for example one inherited from the mother side may have uh, three repeats of this sequence but another chromosome that we inherited from the father side may have say six such repeats so now let's take a look at our gel electrophoresis results so could person b be a son of person e and a and gender here the sex uh, isn't uh, important whether this would be female and this would be male or vice versa so let's take a look at this genotype and as you see this person B may inherit this allele from uh, one parent and also he can inherit uh, this allele of the same size from the parent E so those we see here only one band but actually this means that uh, this person has two alleles of the same size so yes this parent can give uh, this size allele and this parent also can give this size allele and we see only one band here so we can circle this um, genotype here uh, this can be the son of these two people let's now analyze person C person C has uh, one allele that can be inherited from uh, parent A uh, parent E has the same uh, size allele so both uh, parents can uh, contribute this allele but who contributed this size allele neither parent E nor parent uh, A has this allele so we can exclude this genotype uh, so let's now think about um, this uh, variant uh, person D neither uh, parent A has uh, this size allele nor parent E so we can exclude this genotype as for the uh, person F both parent has this size allele but none of the parents can contribute this allele to this person so this is not possible variant of the child for these two parents and uh, the same is true for this genotype none of the parents has this allele and this allele so we can exclude this genotype also none of the parents has this size allele and this this and this 
and those uh, postparents has uh, this size allele, but none of them has uh, this size of allele, so none of them can contribute this allele, and this genotype is not possible. So our answer would be uh, B, person B can be a child of uh, individual A and individual E. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.